students, here is MBS and today, grade 9, new hello, unit 15, the grammar topic and today we are going to talk about F, the second conditional one of F conditionals but today we are going to focus on the second F conditional here, I just want you to start to look at the following examples and mention what can we do for this one? Here, the first example. If I had money, I would build a hospital. If I had money, I would build a hospital. So here, what does this sentence mean? Let's think together. What does this sentence mean? Oh, this sentence, it means that I don't have money. I don't have money so I can't but build a hospital I can't build a hospital because I don't have money so this sentence expresses some wishes or some dreams because I don't have money in fact I don't have enough money to do this and here another example if I were a bird I would fly if I were a bell a bird I would fly. Look at this sentence. If I were a bird. So here, I doesn't go with where or was. It should be was. Shouldn't be where. But here, for if the second conditional, I use where with all nouns and all pronouns. All nouns and all pronouns. When I use verb to be in the past simple, I use where this is for the second F conditional the second F conditional so here what does this sentence mean? it means that I am not a bird I am not a bird so I can't fly in the sky I can't fly in the sky so here what does this sentence express? it expresses impossibility something which is impossible something cannot happen because I'm not a bird, I cannot be a bird one day. Another example. If I were you, I would sleep early. If I were you, I would sleep early. What does this sentence mean? It means that you should sleep early. You should sleep early. And as you know, you use this form. You should sleep early to give advice. To give advice. So here, if I were you, I would sleep early. According to these sentences, according to these sentences, what can you see? If close and the main close. If close and the main close. If you look at if close, what kind of tense did we use here? Did we use the present, past? Present perfect, what kind of tense? Uh, we use the past simple form. In if clause, we use the past simple form. And in our main clause, we use would and the base form of the verb or the infinitive form of the verb. Look at the examples. Here, if I had, had is the past simple of have. Same here for the second, the third example. If I were you, where here is the past simple of verb to be. So here you can find that the tense which is used together with F is the past simple. The past simple for of the verb. And for the main sentence, the other sentence, we use would and the infinitive form. I would build. I would build. I would fly, I would fly, would sleep, would sleep. So here, this is the form and some notes for this one. So here, we can find F for the second conditional. If we start the sentence using the F, this is the F clause. We call it F clause. So here, F together with the past simple form of the verb 
together with the past simple form of the verb. And the second sentence or the main clause, we can say subject together with would and the infinitive form. So here between brackets, you can find another form for would. It's apostrophe D. Apostrophe D. So here, this is the short form of would. This is the short form of would. So here, if I can find in any sentence written in English, apostrophe D and then the base form of the verb or the infinitive form of the verb. So I can know that apostrophe D in this case is the short form of the word would. The short form of the word would or the model verb would. So here, this is the formation of the sentence for every the second conditional. So here, sometimes I can use might or could instead of would. Sometimes I can use might or could instead of would. So I can tell you, if I were a bird, I could fly. If I were a bird, I could fly. If I had enough money, I might buy a new car. If I had enough money, I might buy a new car. So it's the same as would. So here I can replace would with might or could. Of course, together with the base form of the verb, the infinitive form of the verb. And here, the note that I have told you before, which is would, can be written as apostrophe D. So here you have to know that would, this is the long form, the long form. And the short form is apostrophe D, is apostrophe D. And here, what about was and were here? We use were with all nouns and all pronouns, all nouns, if they are singular or plural, in if clause, the second conditional. In the second conditional of if, together with if clause, we use were with all nouns, singular nouns and plural nouns, just like here. Look at this sentence. If he were an engineer, he would build a house. If he were an engineer, he would build a house. Can I say if he was? No. If he were an engineer, because this one is second conditional of F. Sir, excuse me, I have a question. Yes, what's your question? My question is, how can I know that this one is second F conditional? Of course, here you will mention and you will find this one in the second clause, in the main clause, which is would, together with the infinitive form of the verb. So here, this is F second conditional. So here I have to use the past form of verb to be. But here, he, can I use was? No, sorry, it's better. It's better to use where. It's better to use where. Another example. Here we have another pronoun which is we. Which is we. If we were doctors, we could help the patients. And here I use could instead of would because they are the same for the second if conditional. If we were doctors, we could help the patients. And now, let's move to some exercise about this one. Rewrite the following sentences using the words in brackets to give the same meaning. To give the same meaning. Look at the sentence carefully. You should eat healthy food. You should eat healthy food. Use them. What kind of the sentence? Let's think together. What kind of this sentence? Oh, it's a kind of advice. To give advice to someone. Very good. And how can I give advice using F? We use the second condition. We use the second condition. So here I have to use if I were you, I would. If I were you, I would. Because here I have should. If I were you, I would. 
If I were you, I would eat healthy food. If I were you, I would eat healthy food. Does it give the same meaning? Of course it gives the same meaning because here, if the second conditional, it means to give advice, one of the uses of this case, to give advice, and you should hear, we use it to give a piece of advice. I miss the bus, so I take a taxi. I miss the bus, so I take a taxi. Use F. Here we have two sentences, and these sentences are in present simple tense. They are in present simple tense. So here, when I ask you to start with F, it means that you will use F for the second conditional. But be careful. If the sentence is affirmative, change it into negative. And if the sentence is negative, change it into affirmative. So here, when I change the sentence from present to past, from present to past, or from a regular sentence like this one, to use F conditional, does it mean here, does it mean here that I took the bus? No, I missed the bus. Does it mean here that I didn't take a taxi? No, I already took a taxi. So here, how can I answer this one? Of course, the first thing I will do that I will start my sentence using F. I will start my sentence using F. This is the first one. So here, miss. I want to change it to past because I will use the second F conditional. Very good. Change it to past. But be careful. Is the sentence here affirmative? Yes. So change it into negative. So here, if I didn't miss the bus. And this is the negative form of the bus symbol. I didn't miss the bus. If I didn't miss the bus, I wouldn't take a taxi. If I didn't miss the bus, I wouldn't take a taxi. Number three, I am not a bird, I can't fly. I'm not a bird, I can't fly. Use could to give the same meaning. What does this sentence express? It expresses impossibility, something that cannot happen. I cannot be a bird one day. So here, I ask you to use could. So I need to use a sentence structure to give me the same meaning of this sentence. A sentence structure that can give me a meaning of impossibility. So, if I were a bird, if I were a bird, can you mention the difference here? This sentence was in negative form, but when I use F, the second conditional, I change it to be affirmative form. If I were a bird, I could fly. If I were a bird, I could fly. This is for rewrite questions in the exam. But here, choose the correct answer. Choose the correct answer. Another kind of questions that I can find this case in it. Number one. If I space to school, I could know the lesson. So here, if I go, am going, went, have gone. So here, uh, all these can go with I. I can say if I go. I can say if I'm going. I can say if I went. I can say if I have gone. So how can I choose the correct answer? Look at the second part. Look at the main clause. Oh, yes. Here it's could together with the base form of the verb. I could know the lesson. I could know the lesson. And could, might, would, all of them I use in the second F conditional. 
So here I have to use the past form of the verb for if conditional because here this is the second F conditional. This is the second F conditional. So here, what's the last form here? Yes, excellent. Went. If I went to school, I could know the lesson. If I went to school, I could know the lesson. Let's check the second sentence. If he had his meal, he speak, he stays well. If he had his meal, he stays well. So here I have another way to choose the correct answer. The first sentence I use to choose the if clause. But here I will choose the correct form of the verb together with the main clause. So here, will feel, would feel, is feeling, is going to feel. So if someone can tell me, oh, all the choices can go with me, I can say, he will feel, he would feel, he is feeling, he is going to feel. But my answer here is, he would feel. Why would, sir? Because here, it's the second F conditional. Here, how did you know that? It's the second F conditional. Because here I have had. If he had his meal, and what kind of verb is it? What tense is it? Is it present? Is it past? Yes, it's past. What kind of past? It's past simple form of the verb. So here is had. So I can say, he would feel. He would feel. Another example. If Sarah stays a pilot, she would fly a plane. Was, is, has been, were. So here, can you remember what we have said about this one? We said that we use were with all nouns and all pronouns in F a second conditional. So here, if Sarah were a pilot, if Sarah were a pilot, she would fly a plane. And here, we have finished our lesson today. And thank you. And never stop learning. Never stop learning. Wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much and goodbye.